Hello everybody and welcome to a chat with Zach where I pick a topic and I just have a short little chat with you so I've been on a social networking site with Tumblr lately and Tumblr is like a gold mine of teenagers in high school going through teenage problems and just being sad or being happy or just living life and that place is a gold mine and I love Tumblr and you know sometimes I see posts from teenagers where they're just so unhappy with themselves where they're just you know thinking down and thinking bad about themselves and it just really breaks my heart when I see them just call themselves ugly and call themselves imperfect and where they think they're not good enough for the world and how they think they're not good enough for people and just really breaks my heart when really they they're the most beautiful people out there they have the most class the most personality the most stories to say everything about them is beautiful and they just don't think that you know society really has an impact on us and how we think and how we look at people everyone thinks that you have to have this slim sexy body with a nice tan with big muscles and a six pack and trust me you don't need all that you don't need to be that one sexy person that everybody loves you don't need to be the most swagged out kid in high school you don't need all of that you just need personality you just need to be who you are you don't need to be someone else because there's a reason why you are you and not someone else if you were someone else you'd be that person but you are who you are and you need to like who you are because if you don't like who you are then why should anyone else like you you know sometimes it's hard to just look in the mirror and just think it's like why am I even here what am I good for nobody likes me I don't like who I am why would anyone else like when really there's someone out there for you not even just someone there are probably three people out there in the world perfect for you I mean there are seven billion people in the world and more there are so many people out there just think of a beach think of all those little grains of sand now think of those little grains of sand as people there are so many people there is someone out there for you trust me seven billion people in counting babies are made every day and <laughs> Well, you wouldn't date a baby, obviously, but I mean, there are so many people out there and you just got to be happy with yourself. Someone has got to like you. I, I think there are seriously th at least three people perfect for you. I mean, you may not see it in high school because you're trapped in this little high school. I mean, my high school there is about like, what, 2,000 kids? I mean, there's just 2,000 kids. That's a small number and it's just four years just four years of living in that place I mean you you, you spend almost one-fourth of your life in school if say you go to school from kindergarten to college you end around 25 you spend one-fourth of your life in high school in school school and you think that's all your life is when really you still got college too I mean there are people all over the country, even all over the world, going to colleges, and you can find someone. I mean, there are clubs everywhere, and you can just find someone, meet someone who you are, just for who you are. You don't always have to have that perfect body to attract people, because sometimes insecurities come even with the most perfect person, and, you know... You just have to be happy with who you are. I mean, look at Taylor Swift. Now I'm bringing up a, a girl. Now Taylor Swift is a beautiful young singer, but she wasn't like that in high school. She just, she was probably insecure, just like you. She was probably mad about her body and how she looked, but you know, she didn't care. She continued with her career. She probably looked at herself in the mirror and thought, I'm gonna be something one day. And look at her right now, she is, something she's a movie star a singer a beautiful woman she's awesome but she's not perfect everyone calls people girls guys perfect when really they probably have a lot of imperfections that they don't know you look at them in the magazine and think oh my god they are so hot oh f -f -f -f. and you just think they're perfect and really they're not really perfect nobody's perfect you always hear that Nobody is perfect. I, I'm certainly not perfect. Taylor Swift certainly ain't perfect. A lot of people aren't perfect and you're not perfect, but you just gotta live with that. You don't always have to have that body. You don't always have to have a flat stomach or the biggest boobs, but 
or the biggest muscles or a six pack. You don't need all that. You are who you are and you're bound to find someone that likes you for who you are. Seven billion people in the world and counting. I mean, high sc it's high school now. It sucks. Everyone's going through insecurities. Everyone thinks that they're not perfect. Society really does have an impact. Everyone, everyone thinks you need to be skinny to find a boyfriend. Really, <laughs> you don't. Everyone thinks that you need the biggest muscles to date that that uh, Playboy model or that uh, Victoria's Secret model. That's such a better than Playboy model. But y you don't need all that. Sometimes the nerdiest guys can get with the most beautiful, beautifulest girls. Okay, okay, say the girl isn't going for his money though. Just say that. Sometimes that girl can go for the nerdiest guys because she likes him for who he is and not for his money. Now, sometimes that's not always the case, but just just go with it. Just go with it, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's just my view. It really breaks my heart when I see a perfectly young person just hate themselves. Just... True happiness is when you can look in the mirror and like what you see. You just gotta be able to look in the mirror and just look at yourself and just think, I'm gonna be something one day. I'm gonna be this sexy, hella young girl and just be happy. Sometimes the saddest people are the wisest, wisest people because they, they're just going through all this stuff and that makes you who you are. The most popular girl or guy in the school probably has insecurities just like you. They're not always perfect. So, anyway, guys, that's just my word. Hopefully, you can take this into your life and just use it. Remember, you don't you don't always have to be perfect. You don't always have to just be perfect for that one person because someone's bound to find you. Someone is bound to find you. I mean, it's just high school. And if you're in middle school, middle school here for me was three years. If you're just going in high school. I mean, some people find that one special someone in high school, but have you ever met everyone in your life who has met in high school? Has every couple met in high school? It's just, you just gotta find that person in your life. They're bound to come. Trust me. They will come. Trust me. You know, guys, my name is Zach. I'm signing off for the tonight. I love you. You're perfect who you are, and don't let anyone else tell you that you're less of who you are. I'm signing off for tonight. I love you all, and thank you for giving me all your support, love, and wisdom.